Good morning. We're following breaking news right now. Sources tell the Associated Press and the Homeland Security Secretary is drafting an order right now to end family separation at the border. Thanks for being with us. I'm Erin Kennedy. And I'm Marissa Bailey. It is unclear, though, if the president will sign it, but he just told reporters moments ago he will be signing, quote, something later today. CBS 2's Angelica Alvarez has more on the family separation crisis. President Trump told Republicans on Capitol Hill only they can end the separation of children from their parents at the border. These are laws that have been broken for many years, decades, but we had a great meeting. Thank but it is the Trump administration's zero tolerance policy now forcing the border separations. Some Republicans are calling on the president to pause the policy while they work on a solution. I know that uh, the executive uh, branch has the power to end these separations and they should, at least while Congress is trying to find a permanent solution. Other lawmakers are expressing outrage. Mr. President, don't you have kids? Don't you have kids, Mr. President? Democrats from the Congressional Hispanic Caucus protested the president inside the Capitol. It's nothing short of child abuse, and it's purposely being perpetuated by the president of the United States, and it must stop. The president hit back on Twitter, saying Democrats want open borders, which breeds horrible crime. He says he's working on something. So far, the government has only released images of older boys in the holding facilities. Lawmakers say they don't know where the girls and young children are being held. Getting clarity from HHS uh, right now has been tough. Uh, they've been very quiet about how they're doing processing. The Associated Press is reporting separated infants and young children are being held at what the government calls tender age facilities in South Texas. Angelica Alvarez for CBS News, Capitol Hill. In a Mexican restaurant of all places. About a dozen protesters heckled Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen about the Trump administration's immigration policy as she ate dinner at a Mexican restaurant in Washington. The protesters entered and chanted shame and end family separation. Nielsen ended up paying her bill and left after about 10 or 15 minutes.